I'm Caitlin. I'm the nature interpreter at the Gorge Waterway Nature House, and today I'm going to be telling you about decorator crabs. Decorator crabs are masters of camouflage. They attach pieces of algae, sponges, and even small sea anemones to their backs to hide themselves from predators. Decorator crabs pick up decorations in their claws, or chile, and attach them to tiny bristles on their back, which are called setae. The setae act like Velcro and keep the decorations in place. By using pieces of their environment for camouflage, decorator crabs are able to disguise both their appearance and their texture, so they are hidden from predators that hunt by either sight or touch. If the crab uses anemones to decorate itself, the stinging tentacles of the anemone will also provide extra protection from predators. Like all crabs, decorator crab shells don't grow. So when the crab grows too big for its shell, it has to shed its old shell and grow a new one in a process called molting. Molting is really dangerous for crabs because their new shell is soft and it doesn't provide protection from predators. So most crabs will molt at night and they will hide under rocks to make sure that they have protection from predators. For decorator crabs, molting also means redecorating their shells. So decorator crabs will take the best decorations from their old shell and move them onto their new shell to save time redecorating. We have two species of decorator crabs in the Sequaria. The first is the graceful decorator crab, which is the more common species and is often found in shallow water. The second species is the short-nosed decorator crab, which is less common and is usually found in deep water. I hope you enjoyed learning about decorator crabs today. They are really unique animals and definitely one of my favorites in the Sequaria. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week to talk about sea stars.